Here we have Freud. Freud <coughs> was a neurologist, and I think uh, he gave it the first try to use uh, the tools of, uh, of um, people weren't talking about neuroscience, they were talking about uh, neurology. Uh, with the project in 1895, he made a very uh, a brave uh, uh, attempt uh, in using neuroscience uh, to explain uh, the mind. And uh, the science uh, couldn't allow it. I mean, uh, even now we can't allow it, <laughs> uh, uh, by the way. We are incredibly ignorant, and not only about how the brain functions, but how the little we know about uh, brain function, how it can be used to shed light on the personal level of description. Nevertheless, uh, being a scientist and quite an open-minded uh, person, he left a lot of room for the possibility to question, revise, even revolutionize uh, theories on the basis of uh, 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 newly found evidence uh, when uh, uh, technology, for example, would have allowed uh, uh, to ask questions that uh, couldn't be asked uh, uh, back then. 